Today we will learn about a special right triangle called the 45-45-90 triangle. We are going to take a look at what happens when we have an isosceles right triangle. Isosceles right triangle. So this is a case where a tr you have a right triangle where the two legs are the same. So because the two legs are the same, what we learned previously is if you have a triangle with two congruent legs, that's an isosceles triangle, which makes this angle and that angle congruent. And we can figure out, I have 180 degrees, take away the 90, equals 90 degrees. That means we have 90 degrees left to split between the two angles. So I have 90 degrees, split, divide by 2, that's me 45. So this is 45, and that in here is 45. So this is why we call this a 45, 45, 90 triangle. It's a triangle where the angles are 45 degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees. The reason we are talking about this is there's actually a special pattern to this. So let me begin by demonstrating the Pythagorean Theorem. If I call this side my missing side C, Pythagorean Theorem tells me A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So plugging in my numbers, we have 3 squared plus 3 squared equals C squared. 3 squared, that's 9, plus 9 equals C squared. Adding the two 9 together, we have 18 equals C squared. So c equals the square root of 18. And now we have to simplify. Simplify the square root, the radical. So off here to the side. 18 can be broken up into a 9 times a 2. So square root of 18 is the same equal to square root of 9 times 2. 9 is a perfect square. 9 is a perfect square. So that comes out. Square root of 9 is 3. Then 2, 2 stays inside. And there's your answer. C equals 3 square root 2. Now, look at the pattern here. We have a 3, we have a 3, and we have a 3 square root 2. It's almost the same, but there's a square root 2 attached at the end. This is a pattern for a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Let's see if this pattern always works. So over here, I have another triangle. Let's call this side x, which makes this other side x. Let's go ahead and solve for c. So Pythagorean Theorem tells me x squared plus x squared equals c squared. We are adding two x squareds here. So we have a 2 x squared equals c squared. To solve Pythagorean Theorem, we square root both sides. So we get c equals the square root of 2 x squared. 2 we cannot square root, but x squared we can. The square root of x squared is just x. And square root 2 stays inside. So this is x squared root 2. So this is a proof of why a 45, 45, 90 triangle has this pattern. So now let me move over to this sheet right here. Okay, so there's your pattern, an x, an x, an x square root 2. So let's write the general rules for this. First, I will label the parts of this triangle. Okay, this is called a leg.
Over here to the side is your other leg. And right here is your hypotenuse. So the way the rule goes, going from leg to hypotenuse, let's write this down, Going from leg to hypotenuse, x became an x times the square root 2. So we multiply it by this square root 2. Now if we were going backwards, that is going from hypotenuse to leg, Backwards of multiply, opposite of multiply is divide, so we divide by square root 2. And again, this is a pattern that we got from doing Pythagorean theorem over here. Alright, now let's do some example problems. I'll start right here. Okay, this is a 45, that's a 90. So we can tell over here 45 plus 90 equals 135. I'm trying to solve for my missing angle over here. 180 minus 135 gets me 45. So this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle which makes this side congruent with this side, which means x equals 3. Now we have a leg. We want to find the hypotenuse. There it's a leg. Trying to find hypotenuse according to our pattern whatever the leg is we multiply by square root 2 so the leg which is 3 gets multiplied by square root 2 which is simply 3 square root 2 there's your answer for y alright we'll keep working on the other problems this right here is 2 square root 3 and because it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle, that means this other side, y, is also 2 square root 3. And again, the pattern tells us whatever this number is, we multiply it by a square root 2. So we have a 2 square root 3 is our original number, and you multiply by a square root 2. Uh, multiplying radicals tells us that outside with the outside, inside with the inside. On the outside, I have a 2. Right here, there's an invisible 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Inside, we have a 3 times a 2, which 3 times 2 is 6. So 2 squared 6 is my x. Next problem. This time, we're going backwards. We have a... hypotenuse and we are trying to find one of the legs going backwards remember we divide so here we go we have a 10 divided by square root 10 square root 2 divided by square root 2 notice there's square root 2 on top and square root 2 on the bottom rules for fractions what you have on top and bottom if they're the same they cancel out so this is just 10 y is 10 and x is 10 as well last part again we have a hypotenuse and we're trying to get to one of the legs rules tells us we're supposed to divide so we have a 4 
divided by square root 2. <coughs> now, over here, we have to do what we call rationalize the denominator. Rationalize. Because in math, we don't like having square roots in the denominator. Reason for that is when you get to longer and more complicated equations, denominator, that involve square roots, we can simplify them. They look so much easier to do when there's no square roots in the, den in the denominator. So it's a good habit to practice this. To rationalize the denominator, we have to multiply the top numerator and the bottom denominator by that same number. We have a square root 2 at the bottom, so multiply top and bottom by square root 2. On top, we have 4 times square root 2, which is simply 4 square roots 2. On the bottom, here's a shortcut. You have the same square root being multiplied to itself. Square root 2 times square root 2, that's just simply 2. So over here to the aside, square root 3 times square root 3, that's just 3. Or square root 8 times square root 8, that's just 8. When you're multiplying the same square root, the square root goes away. Okay? Last step. It is a fraction, so you still have to check. Can we simplify this fraction? Yes, that's 4 divided by 2. 4 halves, we can simplify that. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then we still have a square root 2 attached at the end. So 2 square root 2 and 2 square root 2. So here you have it, a 45-45-90 degree triangle. Key thing here, here's my rules, but personally I prefer to just memorize the pattern. The pattern goes x, x, x root 2, 1, 1, 1 square root 2, 2, 2, 2 square root 2, 3, 3, 3 square root 3, 10, 10, 10 square root 2, 11, 11, 11 square root 2, and so on.